I think a consistent theme of our lives is running to oh, the destination. Well, we we are always it. running on big crosswalks. Running to breakfast like she's a runner, she's a jack. We made it to brunch. We finally sat down. I got a matcha latte with almond milk, which is gonna revive me single-handedly. I'm honestly not that hungover. Oh, yeah, really. Tank. I said that yesterday, you remember, it's like the tank. All right, we got a breakfast scramble. This is like the kale one English muffin. I don't know why, I was like craving an English muffin this I know, you were like, I'm gonna get an English muffin because I want one. Yeah, I did. Good. Thank you, good. thank you. Okay guys, we're about to head out for the day. Danielle's waiting by the door for me graciously. <laughs> Um, I did not pack great like day outfits. I'm literally just wearing like a white tee and jean shorts and we we're gonna go on Michigan Ave Which is like a lot of shopping stuff like that. So check it out. There's it looked like a big Zara So I'm that would be that right the big I Zara fanny pack too. You know me. I want a sweatshirt <laughs> She wants Chicago sweatshirt from Walgreens. Yeah, I was about to do it yesterday <laughs> anyways, um and my dirty AF like festival shoes because I packed poorly for the daytime but. Let's go. My shoes are dirty too. It's okay. Nice. It's festival vibes. All right, we're here on Michigan Ave. Look at this. It's the biggest Starbucks roastery. Very cool. The line is like around the block, so we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go shopping. We're gonna go to Zara now. I think. All right, we just got some uh, drinks. <laughs> Big and little. I know. <laughs> the, the, the theme of the trip. <laughs> we're back in the hotel. We're taking a little bit of a break. Honestly, I'm proud of us. We did. We're trying to do Chicago and Lollapalooza like all in one weekend, we're really, which is yeah, a lot. Yeah. I didn't think it was a big deal, but everyone we talked to is just going to Lala. Yeah. I'm proud of us. No, because the music festivals, if you think about it, you go all day. You mm -hmm. probably go out at night. You do, wake up and do it the next day. Eat, sleep, rave, rave repeat. repeat. Eat, eat, sleep, rave, rave repeat. repeat. You guys, this is actually a really funny story. I was just telling Danielle about the story of these cowgirl boots. I'm not a big boot girl. I got these boots my freshman year of college, parents weekend. My parents came up and I was like, I need a pair of boots. Literally in Athens, there's like dedicated like boot retailers. I don't know if they're still there. You said that there's one, Boots Express. Like 30 minutes away. So I've had these since my freshman year. I've only worn them a handful of times and I had them in my closet at home because I knew like they were like a nicer pair of cowgirl boots. Like I'll save them for one day. Cowgirl or cowboy? What do you say? Cowboy. Okay. I say both actually. Yeah, and I brought them. I was like, honestly, boots in general are a good festival shoe because you're getting stomped on. Like, it's just stomped. stomped. I think I'm gonna wear them today because I was like, well, I forgot if they were comfy or not, and I do really like them. Honestly, I've been into the 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 jean shorts and boots. Like, I don't think I particularly like it for myself. I was gonna say your outfit's cute. Like, if you talk about shirt. Really? You think? She's a Western girl. We got some snacks. Danielle showed in her video. Goldfish. Cheese its waters, and in a little bit, we're gonna get some Chipotle pre festival and then head over there for on the, the app. night <laughs> on the app only because you can only get the case city on the app if you know you know. We are taking a break from the day, like I said, and watching Outer Banks. Um, it's actually pretty good. I kind of want to watch another episode, <laughs> and we got some Chipotle, so we got chips we got guac danielle this is the danielle yes we have danielle and then i got a quesadilla which i'm so excited okay quesadilla. yum oh my god chicken quesadilla from chipotle i love that you could pick sides all right after a while i'm finally ready i'm sorry for the delay i started getting ready like really early and stuff i'm just having like skin drama everything drama we're doing some blue eyeshadow today courtesy of my Urban Decay palette. I actually like the eyeshadow the most of the makeup, but I feel like I did too much blush, but then the blush fades. The top is beginning boutique. Like I said, I'm wearing the boots today. Sunglasses because necessary. I have my hair up, half up, half down again. Honestly, I sweat a lot and it actually does kind of help. I just hate my hair all the way up, so half up, half down is like a good compromise for me. Um, I do like this shirt. It's like kind of open in the back and the sides. Danielle's here in her blue. Hello. Hello, blue. Hello, blue. Oh, I also have a blue eyeshadow. Yes, it's a blue Chris theme. Brooke. Thank you. It's a blue theme. Haven't right. done this since literally makeup tutorials. I know. I feel that. Oh, I was going to put on some earrings. I've been loving this ear cuff from All Right. I'm going to talk about it probably in a vlog coming up. I, like, I'm not a big piercing gal. Like, I only have one ear piercing. But the ear cuff is really doing it for me. I think it's very cute and fun. Danielle. Has our fireball shots ready? I'm not mentally prepared. I'm not either. That's why I've been waiting for you. Oh, okay. Let's do it. Honestly, we need to do it. We need to do a few. Yes, I know. <gasps> a few before we go to this festival and pay a fortune for drinks. And you can't even leave the Tito's Lounge. That was in the last vlog. If you guys missed that, we got... We got, we got drinks yesterday and um, we tried to bring them out into the festival and they were like, you can only drink the liquor drinks in like the one specific area, which is fine. I'm okay with like a seltzer and stuff, but... 
I don't know, I just like wanted to like have a, ha a serious drink, you know? A heavy pour, a heavy pour. Today has been a day of drama. We'll explain it on the podcast. Danielle's taking pictures now. Look how beautiful the fountain in the city is. Um, it is so beautiful. It's a magical hour. It's, it is. It's like Kilo Deza. I feel better now because um, we just heard, so if you guys watch Danielle's video or you listen to our podcast, we probably talked about it. A girl came up to us who, she was crying and upset because she lost her phone and her dad just texted me and said that she made it back to the hotel. So I feel really good, but she's okay. So we're all good. Now we're gonna go to the Tito's Lounge because I actually really have to go to that one. That's okay. All right. Good morning guys. It is the next day. Um, I pretty much stopped vlogging at the, <laughs> the festival yesterday. I got some clips. I think I kind of explained it. We kind of had a crazy like day. I think we're gonna talk about it on the podcast today. We just were helping people left and right. And I'm not even saying that to be like, oh, we're so great. But it was just like, I, I we were just running into like strangers and they were like, uh, like problems and we were just assisting and yeah. <laughs> we're just, heroes. so basically we deserve this nice breakfast right now. <laughs> we're going to Goddess and the Baker, um, which is apparently like only a five minute walk from our hotel, which, I'm really down for, don't really want to walk too far. I'm wearing sweatpants. I'm actually wearing the same outfit I wore on the plane the other day. I finally showered and washed my hair yesterday, so that's good. Let's go. Hello. 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 I got an avocado toast with an egg. I got a breakfast sandwich. Love that. We came back to a cleaned room, which is fantastic, and we're about to podcast now. The breakfast was really good. I would recommend the matcha rating. Oh, I was gonna ask. Not high, not high. I am a tough critic, I think, on the matcha these days. I don't like when it's clumpy, you know? Like, it shouldn't be, I shouldn't be tasting chunks. I have to charge this camera while we pod. Oh, actually, I have a backup battery. I love me. Taylor King just called us and she said that we're gonna like pregame with them again, which is just such a nice setup. If you guys know music festivals, like it's very, very nice to go with a group larger than two people, even though I'm having a great time with you, Danielle. And yesterday was honestly such a fun day with just the two of us, but yeah, yesterday you know, it's fun with a larger group though. Like I feel like it brings the energy that you need. Oh yeah, we arrived at the festival in a great mood. Hot and heavy hot, that day. Hot and heavy. But it's fun because it's like Taylor, her brother, and like her brother's friends which yeah. we got that nice young energy <laughs> youthful i feel like i'm in college again we're gonna podcast now it should be a good time <laughs> it is the final day of the festival i'll show you guys my outfit quick this is definitely my most casual of the outfits and i thought i was gonna wear her dress typical me fashion change at the last second but it is what it is at this point danielle is in there in the bathroom the whole fits beginning boutique danielle actually got these jeans and it's so funny because we're the same size in jeans sometimes which is bizarre because Danielle fills out the butt and I thought the top. I can't believe like even length was, works for both of us. But these are beginning boutique jeans, yeah. Um, this top, straight across, if you guys have a larger chest, is the most flattering cut that I've found in terms of like like a tank style, something like this. So we have a nice straight across. And then I'm just wearing the white uh, Air Force ones I'm wearing the whole weekend because your shoes kind of get destroyed here, so. And you walk a lot. We get a lot of steps in. That's why I've been wearing my Apple Watch because I, I'm just curious how much I'm walking. We're gonna go meet up with Taylor King. Danielle looks so cute. I'm wearing her shirt. Yes. We're just mix and matching I today. I know, Because the top part of this was really cute, but I just kept flashing the world and we don't need to do that. Yes, and it, it actually looks fantastic on you with me. My boobs were just mm. simply too, too much side <laughs> in yours. It's I liked it on you. Thank you, thank you. Well, I look like I'm going like just out on a normal day, but it's fine. That's I wore really like cute. festival fits the and other day. Braids? Did you show me? Yes, braids? I did do two like little braids myself, which is amazing because I don't know how to do hair. We're listening to Yellow Claw because that's who we're seeing today. This reminds me of the Riverdale scene when they do cheerleading. Oh my god! Yes, it's like one of the first episodes. This right? is it. Yes, they do the cheer routine. Yes. <laughs> okay, we're gonna take a shot and go meet Taylor and her friends. <laughs> All right, we're here now at Mala. Look who it is. Hey guys, you guys, she's risen from the dead. I'm rallying. No. I don't know how, it is, I'm struggling. I, I keep saying I'm proud of Danielle this weekend, but I'm proud of you. I just need this Red Bull and then I think I'll be Gucci Flip Flops. I'm drinking a Bud Light Seltzer Lollapalooza edition. That's cool. I know, the can is honestly I dope. It. it has cherries on it. This is Taylor. Oh, it, Lollapalooza. It can. Thumbnail. We are on the move at Lala. Ooh, look at all these lines for the bars. We're gonna see surfaces and then we're gonna see yellow car. Yeah. Big one. 
She's here. She is here. They have these ready to go on our walk home. I literally plugged in my phone. I go Chicago <laughs> deep dish pizza. And this is what we Brooke have. Brooke led the way here. She uh, pioneered the trail. I did. I've been a, a pioneer of this whole trip. I'm like, go now. When it's like, when the light's like. Danielle to the left. Don't I'm like, Danielle, go, go. <laughs> we have um, a nice deep dish. I've actually never tried Chicago deep dish. <laughs> wow, I have dark eyeshadow. I feel like I'm emo right now. Now, I'm going through a phase mom. They gave us plates. This is honestly a perfect size. I thought it was gonna be like a thick like 14 this inch. This is a thick boy. It is thick, but it's honestly like I thought that it was gonna be like double the size, you know? All right, we're gonna eat it. Taste test. Mm. Taste test. Ooh, that's not good. Uh, ooh, <laughs> it's not good? <laughs> She's really going off right now. <laughs> See, I think the toppings are good, but the crust is not that this good. This is not as good as Giordano's, I have to say it. Really? Yeah. It has like chlorine. Oh, I really like it. I just don't like the crust, but I like the cheese and the sauce. Uh, Final review. All right, I'm at the airport now. Getting a book. Good morning, guys. So I got back from Chicago yesterday. And I can't even tell you how tired I was. I thought that I would go to sleep for the night at like at seven o'clock. My eyes were like closing. So I took a nap. I woke up at like 11 p.m., read for a little bit, and then went back to bed and woke up today at 6 30 and started really like unpacking, just taking things out because I have to do a lot of laundry, of course, post a trip. You can see like I'm tired still. I just threw on like a little outfit. These shorts are very cute. We are working with American Eagle for our podcast, which is so exciting. And we were able to get some credit from them to shop. And Danielle told me about these sweatshorts from them. And I think they are so cute. They're just like these gray little sweatshorts. I got mine in a medium. They definitely run big, but damn, are they comfy for like running errands right now. I also got them in this green color, which I will be sure to link them down below because they're really cute. So I'm about to go run, I think grab some flowers, grab randomly some toilet paper. I'm getting some groceries delivered in a little bit so I don't have to worry about like the produce and things, but those two are a must. I realized I'm out of toilet paper. Flowers too, because I have some ones that are dead over there and that's something that I love to get. So I'm just gonna go for a stroll, just wearing some white sneakers. I figured I'd vlog for a little bit today and then end off because I know that the Chicago content was a lot. It was so, so much fun though, like just such a good time and I um, can't wait to go to more festivals soon. We're actually not going to GovBall anymore. Danielle and I bought tickets to GovBall, but we, we're not gonna go just because a lot of the lineup from that festival was the same and we just were like one festival is kind of enough like it that that's good we we got our festival fix at least like together so maybe i'll go to more soon and like go to and stuff. i don't really know i'm not really too worried about it the only thing that i wanted to say is that on the plane I actually finished 28 Summers. It's a thick one, it's like 400 pages. Um, so I just had a little bit left and I was I was crying, like straight up. I'm not gonna say I was like weeping, but I was like holding, like I was crying. And then I was holding back tears like, oh my gosh, it was an experience. It was a very, very emotional book. It's told over 28 Summers, but it follows like one main character. If you're looking for a really good summer read, this is like top of my list. I honestly would probably give this five stars. And I don't give many books five stars. Just because I feel like none are truly like perfect, but this was like as close to it as it could be. Really, really recommend this one. Um, I have to get my Goodreads updated. Maybe I'll do that today. And then I started The Last Thing He Told Me by Laura Dave. So I'm really working through my summer reading list. I'm trying to finish, I think it's like this one and maybe two others this month. And then, yeah. I'm also reading um, books from Book of the Month at the same, like not at the same time, but that weren't on my reading list. So I have a lot of books, but it's exciting. These are what the flowers look like. And with that said, I'm going to end off the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the Chicago vlog and want me to do more like travel content, let me know in the comments. Give this video a big thumbs up, it really supports my channel. And follow me on Instagram, of course. That's where all the like real time updates are because I know this is a few days behind. Love you guys so much. We'll talk soon. Bye.